They're a very useful command, um, as you can run from the command prompt to znet command. And here's the syntax. It's a lot like the service command in Fedora, if you've used it. Um, with the service command in Fedora, if I wanted to start, stop, or restart the web server, Apache web server, I could say service space httpd space uh, stop or start or restart. If I wanted to stop, start, or restart the FTP server, very secure FTP server, I could say in Fedora, service space uh, vsftpd space stop, start, or restart. Well, what I can do with the net command of start and stop services and so much more, there's a lot of things I can do with it. Um, you know, these are just some of the options that we can use here. So if we were going to try to net and tell it's not running, but I'll just show you what would happen. It's not started, it tells me. So knowing that that's not started, let's see what happens. 127001, I'm going to tell net into the loopback. In this case, the connection fails. Now I'm going to net start from the command prompt, and it's going to try to go ahead and start the telnet service. I'm going to telnet into my loopback, and yes, and of course telnet's not secure. It's much better if you're in Linux to use secure shell or RDP in Windows or some you know something with encryption because you're sending passwords out there that if anybody's you know sniffing around with cane enable or some software they can catch those passwords. Root. What am I thinking? Sorry, I'm in Linux mode. Administrator is what we want. And there I go. I've telnoted into myself. And I'll just exit out of there. And, well, still back in Linux mode. See this? Um, now, it's not safe to leave telnet running. That's a pretty dangerous service to allow, you know, allow it to run in the background if I don't need it. So, again, I'm going to say net stop telnet. And telnet service has stopped. Another fun thing you can do with the net command is send messages. Um, now, you need the Windows Messenger service running, and I don't believe it is running, but let me just make sure on this system. Oh, it was running. Okay, now it, I've stopped it. And by default, a lot of people will turn the Messenger service off. It's just safer, and you get less annoying pop-up messages. It is kind of useful sometimes around the office to be able to send messages back and forth, but let's see what would happen if I tried to send the message with the Messenger service uh, turned off. We'll do net send and again I'm going to do the loopback. Well actually let me use my IP address. We'll let another command IP config and I'm subnet uh, 80 right here in the third octet and 129 is what I've been leased from the DHCP server. So I'm going to do net and send and 192.168.80.129 and hi. In this case, it will fail because the messenger service is not running. That is a required service. Now let me use my net command, start. I'm going to go ahead and start the messenger service. And I'll just drop a message as soon as it's complete. Starting, 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 right. There we go. And net send, and I want to do my IP 192.168, subnet 80.129, and my message. Message from C Germany 1 and 2 1 say 8129. Hi, I really like the 3D barrel desktop and Linux. So that's just you know just another example of the net command and some of the things that you can do with it. Now of course you can always go to my computer right click manage go down here to services and pick any service again we'll go to messenger if I double click on it you know it's nice uh, nice to be able to access it from the graphical interface as well, and auto I can you know decide whether it's automatic or manual or disabled. I can stop and start it, log on, recovery dependencies, and I can see that for all of my services here. This is a great place to manage you know start, stop, 
um, automate or make manual services running on your Windows workstation. XP Professional 2003-2008 Vista.